Hi, today I want to show how to make a basic bird model fly with geometry nodes and then make a bunch of copies flying at different speeds as a flock, everything with the geometry nodes. I'm going to use this very simple and kind of ugly model, but this applies to pretty much any basic bird model. So first I want to make it flap its wings and I want it to be controllable with geometry nodes. So I'm going to use this geometry nodes alternative to shape keys that I showed in a previous video, making a simple node tree that saves the current positions of vertices to an output attribute. I call it base and apply the modifier so that the current positions of vertices are stored in an attribute called base. Next, I want to create the wings up uh, shape. So I'll use the same node group but this time I'll call the output attribute uh, wings up and I'm going to go into edi edit mode and flap the wings up with proportional editing and mirror editing something like this Okay, I'll apply the modifier and now we have both the base and the wings up shapes saved as attributes. Now I want to go back to the base so for that I'll use a set position node and I'm going to feed it the attribute that we just made, the base attribute. So you see we recover the base shape and I'm going to apply it and now I want to create the wings down attribute the same way we did for the base and the wings up so I call it wings down and again going to edit mode but this time bring the wings down And I think this is looking fine, so I'll go ahead and apply the modifier. So now we have the key shapes saved as attributes, so we can create the main node tree. So to use these shapes that I've created, I'm going to use a set position and fit it with a mix node to mix between the different shapes. And uh, the animation of the factor is going to drive the animation of the wings flapping. So with a named attribute node I'm going to bring the wings up attribute, another one for the wings down. Um, oh, I forgot to change this one to wings down. And you can see by mixing directly between the wings up and wings down it looks okay from the side but the actual movement is quite strange uh, because it's linear between the two positions and I'm going to improve it by making it go through the base shape so I'm going to duplicate this and first mix between the base and the wings up and then mix the result of that with the wings down Perfect. So to animate this, I'm going to use the sign of the scene time to control this factor. So here I'm going to bring a math sign node and fit it with the scene time. And this is going to move uh, very slow, very slowly. So I'm going to add a multiplier here to increase the speed. So math multiply. multiply. Mm. I don't know, something like 10. It's a matter of tweaking till the movement satisfies us. So the sign is going between minus 1 and plus 1, but this mix node uh, has the factor clamped, so it's only moving in the 0 to 1 range. Anything below 0, it's taking it as 0. So I want to use the other part of the range for the second mix node, and for that I'm going to use a multiply node, multiply it by minus one and 
connect this to the factor of the second mix node. So now we have the whole movement. The wings still uh, stretch and compress a bit and we could improve that a bit by using non-uniform factors in the mix nodes but I think it's for the purpose of this video I'm just going to do it like that. So now we have one bird flapping its wings and I want to create mo a bunch of birds flapping their wings so I'm going to use a points node to instance the bird on these points I'm going to need to realize the instances to have individual control and so that the modifiers work as expected okay so now uh, we still see one bird because the positions of all of the vertices are being set here they all have the same position and we could change that by adding a random offset here for instance but instead I want to randomize the position of the positions of the points because later I want to add a merge by distance node on these points to avoid birds being too close to one another so I'm going to randomize the position of these points and the birds are still all occupying the same place because the set position node is still setting the vertex positions to the same place so what I'm going to do is capture the position of the instances and adding that position as an offset on the set position node so let's this is a long connection but there we go so now each bird is in a different place and let's see I'm gonna use a value node so it's always symmetrical and we just have to input one value um, let's bring more birds here the amount of points is the amount of birds and there you see some birds are collapsing some birds are too close to one another so here's where the merge by distance comes into play just after the points node I'm going to add a merge by distance node so that if two points are too close together they turn into one point so only one bird is there I'll tie these things up a bit so now we have a bunch of birds flapping their wings but all with the exact same speed which doesn't look very natural so I'm going to randomize their speed by adding a random value node plugged to this multiplier but as you can see now the birds got all weird because this is being randomized per bird uh, instead of per bird uh, sorry my pronunciation doesn't help me here um, I want it to be one random value per uh, instance per bird so I'm going to capture the instance index with a capture attribute node and plug this to the ID socket in the random value so now each bird gets the same random value for all its vertices okay so that looks a bit better now uh, let's add the forward movement for that I'm going to intercept this offset value and I'm going to add a vector to it so let's add a vector math node 
and I want to animate the X component of this so that birds move forward. I'm going to use a combine XYZ node and I'm going to plug uh, another scene time with a multiplier uh, Alt P to remove this from the frame and plug this to the X coordinate. So now birds are moving but all with the same speed and what I want is for them to have a speed proportional to the, the speed they're flapping their wings with. So I'm gonna I'm going to use this same random value from here so that the birds that flap their wings faster move along faster. So I'll reset these values to 0 to 1 and instead use a map range here for this again value 5 to 10 and another map range Control shift d to duplicate connected and another map range with the appropriate values for the forward movement so you can see this is very slow maybe 10 to 25 10 to 30 something like that and that's looking fine uh, still a bit stiff so I'm going to add a bit of a vertical oscillation so that it looks a bit more natural so for that I want to take the sign again and use it for the C coordinate here so let's bring this forward a bit and take this sign I'm going to add a reroute here reroute and plug it to the C component so now birds are oscillating but uh, I need to invert that movement so that when they flap their wings down they go up and vice versa let's see yeah, something like this but uh, a bit less intense so to speak, so with the multiply node maybe by 0.5 it needs to be subtle yeah something like that 0.2 barely noticeable but still it gives it makes it a bit more natural I think so that's looking fine another thing that I think will ma make it look a bit less uniform more natural is to randomize a bit the scales of the verse so for that I'm going to use a scale elements node which lets you uh, have different scales for uh, different islands in this case the birds so with a random value maybe from 0.1 to 1 yeah that's looking fine I like it so yeah there's a lot of improvements that we could do with this or experiments uh, I'd like to mess a bit with the simulation nodes and make them fly towards a goal or something like that but for this tutorial I think that's going to be it I'm going to tidy things up a bit maybe but that's the gist of what I wanted to explain I hope you found it useful if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and thank you for watching <laughs>